spectacular shot of the Rose Bowl, and we're ready for Nebraska UCLA. Hi, everybody. I'm Gus Johnson, along with my, with my partner Charles Davis, and welcome to Pasadena, California, for Nebraska. They're coming off a solid opening day win against Southern Miss. Taylor Martinez looks sensational. What a way for him to come home to California. 26 of 34, 354 yards and five touchdowns, zero interceptions. He was scintillating in that game. But folks, this is not your dad's or your granddad's Nebraska. They still have an eye back. They still have a big offensive line, but they're up tempo. They want to run a lot of plays. So keep an eye on that. But Taylor Martinez is the key. He's the trigger. If he plays well, so does Nebraska. Meanwhile, for UCLA, solid win in their opener on the road at Rice. They score close to 50 points. And, folks, they've got some baby back kids. They're young. They're tender. But on the field, they can do some sweet stuff. So sweet that eight true freshmen played last week against Rice, and the starting quarterback is a redshirt freshman. But their goal for tonight, their mantra for this season, is to show the nation they are not what people say they are. And that is soft. Jim Moore instilling a new attitude. Last year, this team had 14 sacks on defense. They had seven against Rice. Already, that new attitude starting to take hold. Time now to head to the sideline and join the third member of our team, Julie Alexandria, who moments ago caught up with UCLA head coach Jim Mora. Thanks so much, Coach. So much energy here at the field. These kids are so incredibly pumped up. What was the biggest, most important thing that you told them before they took the field today? Well, I told them a lot of things, but I think what's really important in a game like this is we play with great energy, but we play with great poise. You know, you get in an environment like this where it's energetic and enthusiastic, we've got to be able to maintain our poise. Fantastic. Right. Good luck to you today. Thank you so much. Guys, back to you. All right, Julie. That brings us to a look at this afternoon's keys to the game brought to you by Ford. Let's start with Nebraska and it's inside out for them. The middle three of their offensive line center and both guards are former walk ons having to block an impressive UCLA front. If they can handle the run game Nebraska will be in business for UCLA. Jim Moore just told Julie Alexandria exactly what it is. Fanatical focused effort. They're hyped up. They're coming out of the locker. We had to scrape them off the top of the ceiling to get them out here. But will they play smart? Will they play with poise and not have anything bad happen to them early in this game? Nebraska won the toss. They deferred. So UCLA will receive unseasonably hot here in Southern California. 90 degrees. We've had two earthquakes in less than a week. We experienced one the other day. And uh, that was an experience to say the least. First time for me. I don't know about you, but that jolt sent me scrambling. <laughs> All right. Brett Maher will kick it off for Nebraska. Five of his eight kickoffs for touchbacks last week. Thick pin, Jonathan Franklin back deep for the Bruins. And they will not get an opportunity as this one goes out of the back of the end zone. So that brings us to this afternoon's Taco Bell Impact Players. For UCLA, the quarterback Brett Hundley is a redshirt freshman off to a nice start. His first run of the game, 72 yards for a touchdown against Rice. Jonathan Franklin trying to run down Gaston Green as the all-time leading rusher in Bruin history. And Anthony Barr, a former running back, is now playing quite well at outside linebacker. For Nebraska, Taylor Martinez, the quarterback, is back home. Amir Abdullah filling in for Rex Burkhead, the All-American runner. And Damian Stafford is a hammer at safety. First down and 10 at the 25 for redshirt freshman. Brett Hundley, high snap handle, rolls out of the pocket. Hundley lets it go down the field. And incomplete, but a flag on the play. That intended for Shaq Evans, the Notre Dame transfer. And Jim Moore and the Bruins looking for a home run on the first play of the game. Love the call because no matter what, you're going to make Nebraska think. I think they're going to get a 15-yard penalty out of this. Pass interference by the defense. 15 yard penalty, first down. Gus, the 15 yards is terrific, but you know it's even better. As we see downfield, Josh Mitchell hand fighting with Shaq Evans. The call goes the way of UCLA, but even better for them now. If you're in Nebraska, you have to think. You have to loosen up a little bit. They will take shots at you. You can't just play them for the runs inside. Last week, Hundley ran 72 yards for a touchdown on his first collegiate play from scrimmage. And they'll hand this one off. Jonathan Franklin, who rushed for over 200 yards, three touchdowns against Rice. And he's taken down by Cameron Meredith. 
You know who was particularly proud of that run last week? Brett Hundley Sr., a former running back at the University of Arizona. They kept him in the Pac-10, excuse me, the Pac-12, and now the youngster goes to work at quarterback for UCLA. The third UCLA freshman quarterback to start a season. And a handoff, Jonathan Franklin. Franklin popped two huge runs last week of over 70 yards. I thought that offensive line, looking at their play against Rice, did a sensational job. And that's an offensive line that struggled in preseason camp due to injuries. Here they are playing fast now, trying to get the jump on Nebraska. Second down at seven at the 43. Excuse me, make that third down and three. Hunley underneath and this ball caught by Jerry Johnson looks like he has enough for the first down Johnson's a fifth year senior who's had injuries didn't really get along great with the with the previous coaching staff but here getting his opportunity a clean slate is what Jim Mora told him when they came to town don't worry about the past show us what you can do in the future and they like what he's shown them so far so first down at midfield Hunley Swings it out of the backfield. This is Jordan James, a sophomore from Corona, California. And he is gang tackled. P.J. Smith, the safety, first man to it. So a different UCLA squad. They get to the line of scrimmage very quick. They want to snap off and play about every 18 seconds. Keep the defense on the run. Second down and eight. Here's James once again over the left side. And James crossing the 45. Will Compton grabbed an ankle. And what they do also, Gus, with this up-tempo offense, they try and keep you from substituting much on defense. That's where hybrid players really come into play in the college game now. Can you stay on the field all three downs and mix and match your defense to fit what the offense is trying to do to you? Third down at four, empty backfield now for Hundley. Remember, he can run. Taking his time, delivers, and he's got his receiver. Think pin down the sideline, breaking tackles, and he'll get inside the 20. Josh Mitchell with the tackle, but on their opening drive, UCLA popping Nebraska in the chops. A gain of 21. And that came from Thigpen going into the slot and winning that play on the initial move off the line of scrimmage. Quick head fake, quick shake, he gets inside, and then the patience of Hundley to let him clear the linebackers before putting the ball on him. First down and 10. See if they attack right away with this field position. Play fake. Pump fake, Hundley, look in, caught, touchdown, Fourier. Joseph Fourier, wide open, and Hundley put it on him. Had to try and grab Fourier, couldn't get enough of him. Fourier using his strength and his length to get away for the touchdown. I like Noel Mazzoni, the offensive coordinator, attacking with the field position after the shank punt on the first play. Bear Baron in to attempt his first extra point. And that's a great shot. UCLA. 27-yard touchdown. Hunley to his tight end. Bruins rolling. How about Joseph Fourier? Six touchdown catches last season. That's his second of the year. Caught one against Southern Mississippi. Three grabs, 53 yards last week in Houston. Big, strong tight end. We've seen the way the, the game is going in the NFL with the use of the tight ends. It's because of what's coming out of college. His former wide receiver is a little bit bigger, can flex out and catch the ball. So Jeff Locke kicks it away, and Locke handles the kickoff duties. First down from the 25. Abdullah with room. He'll get up to the 30, picks up five on the play as Jordan Subwalt. Comes up with the stop. Dula replacing Rex Burkhead out with the left knee injury. His status 
uncertain in terms of his return. Jamal Turner reverses field, a former quarterback, and he'll pick up a first down as he dives forward. Randall Gulforth with the tackle. But it's a gain of six. This play should have been stopped right here. Look at that. Look at this closing in, closing in. They can't get there, and he reverses field and shakes and bakes his way to a first down. First down at the 36. Here's Martinez, pulls it down. Taylor Martinez picks up a first down. A gain of 13 on the play, and he threw the ball so well last week, you kind of forgot watching the tape that this kid is a sensational runner. And I think the extra dimension in tonight's game, because Rex Burkhead, the All-American, is not there, is that we, wait, we will see more of that from Taylor Martinez, his legs coming into play a bit more this evening. Martinez underneath, and it's caught by Kenny Bell. Kenny Bell. Stopped by Andrew Abbott, the safety, after a nine-yard game. And I think the last two runs were momentum plays for Nebraska. Turner getting out of trouble, coming back and getting a first down. The run by Martinez, and then he comes right back and throws a strike to Bell outside. Second down, it's short. They need a yard. Second drive of the game for Nebraska. Abdullah standing next to Martinez. Play fake. Martinez over the middle, caught, Bell down at the UCLA five. Go for it with the saving tackle, but Taylor Martinez throwing a frozen rope, and Nebraska in business, a 36-yard pickup. And Tim Beck, the offensive coordinator for Nebraska, takes a book from, takes a page of Noel Mazzoni's book. Second and short, excellent field position, attacks downfield on play action. Martinez to Bell for a big gainer. First down and goal. They mark it at the six. Big Mike Morrow, the fullback. 250 pounds, 6'2. They give it to Abdullah, heading for the corner. Turns. Six points. Court Husker. And Nebraska answering. Remember, folks, these two schools have a long history with each other. Go back to 1946. <laughs> these guys like to play against each other. And I love the dip move by Abdullah. Dips inside to set up the blocks, lets the blocks occur, jumps outside, and beats everyone to the end zone. Six plays, 75 yards. Horn Huskers eating up two minutes and eight seconds, and we're tied. Amir Abdullah in for Rex Burkhead. 7-7. Six-yard touchdown for Amir Abdullah. Ties this game up at seven apiece. But if you're running back in Nebraska, you have to do more than run the ball. Watch the blitz pickup by Amir Abdullah on the previous play. He takes out Jordan Zumwalt, allows Martinez a chance to fire the strike downfield to Bell. One play later, he gets rewarded, dips inside, jumps outside, and beats Zumwalt and gets to the corner for the touchdown. That's a complete bat in the parlance of the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Dula with 161 all-purpose yards versus Southern Mississippi. Carried it 15 times for 81 yards. Their leading ball carrier with Burkhead on the sidelines. First down to 10 of the 25 for Brett Hundley. Hundley, near side, caught. Jack Evans, Evans to pick up the first down. And that's what was very noticeable when you looked at the Nebraska film last week. Southern Mississippi, out of Conference USA, rotating three different quarterbacks, were very effective, especially in the first half, moving the ball. And, and when you went to when they went to the true freshman, Alford, who was able to actually run the football, he had 85 yards himself. A mobile quarterback gave them a little bit of trouble. Jonathan Franklin with the run. Five-yard gain. Thad Randall Jr. with the tackle. He came up a little bit gimpy. Let's see if they notice that from the box and want to run something at him. Second down and five. And this time, Franklin down the sideline. He's got wheels. And Franklin gets deep into Nebraska territory. Jonathan Franklin showing his versatility. Damian Stafford with the saving tackle. It's a gain of 26. Now watch Franklin get outside. He's in motion, number 23. Stop it right there. 
Where's it supposed to be? Where's the coverage? He ends up beating a linebacker to the outside. Can't get over there fast enough. Stafford makes a saving tackle. First down and 10 of 28 yard line. Thickpin. And he'll tumble forward. Damian Thickpin. Alonzo Whaley tripped him up, but that's after an eight yard gain. Right now, UCLA's offense is making Nebraska's defense feel like they're in a series of gassers. A lot of running and not a chance to catch their breath. Jordan James put it on the ground. Jordan James, a sophomore, fumbles, and the Corn Huskers have it. Damian Stafford, the safety, with the recovery. And those who put it on the ground will not play long for Jim Mora. How about Ankara, number nine, falling back inside the defensive end. Watch him right there, that big paw. And he continues to reach and rake at the football and pops it free for the turnover for Nebraska. So the first turnover of the game. 544 to play, first quarter, tied at seven. Taylor Martinez. Starting from his own four yard line. Here's a handoff. Amir Abdullah breaks the first tackle. He'll dive forward and pick up extra yardage. Ellis McCarthy with the tackle. You love to see running backs that, you know, when they are tackled, they tackle leaning forward. You don't go down easy. What did, what did Walter Payton say? You die hard at that point of impact. And that's what Amir Abdullah did. That's his impressive. A short yardage run out of a smaller back as you're going to see. Second down and six. Martinez running first down. Taylor Martinez. Oh, here he goes. Martinez. Can he outrun him? Martinez at the 10. Touchdown, Nebraska. 92 yards. Taylor Martinez returns home in dramatic fashion. And watch how he does it. It's the zone read, and Taylor Martinez reads it well and gets to the hole. Fake to Abdullah. Now see the freeze? He sees it, and the gap is right in there. And off he goes. And one thing, and some defenses, the quarterback is not accounted for. But Taylor Martinez, you need to account for him on every snap. So Brett Maher comes in to attempt the extra point. We've got a 14-7 game. And last year, Martinez, along with Rex Burkhead, were the top returning quarterback, running back, rushing combos as they combined for 2,231 rushing yards. But Martinez looks healthy and positive. Went to the Manning camp this summer. Worked on his release. And it's paying major dividends for him right now. So UCLA taking over. Eddie George during the pregame show talked about how they would react when facing adversity. Being popped in the mouth not once but twice was his statement. Brett Hundley running the football, so we'll get a chance to see now. Down 14-7. The numbers on Hundley. Picks up four, second down and six at the 29. Now Hundley going through his progressions, steps up, and he'll get out of bounds. Good coverage in the secondary by Nebraska. Andrew Green giving chase. Not just good coverage, but good rallying to the football by Nebraska. You always hear the coaches talk about rush lane integrity. Do your job, fit the right gaps. And that's exactly what Nebraska did on that pass rush, allowing them to run down Humley when he pulled the ball down and tried to sprint. Third down and three of the 32. Thick bit in motion. Hundley over the middle. He's got Lucian. Here's Lucian. Midfield. Stiff arm out of bounds. First down UCLA. That looked like a bust in coverage, Gus. 
I saw Compton, the linebacker, running out to go with Franklin in motion. And then there was a shift, and the receiver came inside all alone. Should have been man coverage, and Lucian with a nice catch reaching back to turn it into a first down. Both these teams closing in on 200 yards in total offense. And Nebraska with a 14-7 lead on the road, but UCLA is not backing down. Welcome back, Gus Johnson, Charles Davis, Julie Alexandria here in Pasadena. And in the first quarter, folks, Nebraska 184 yards in total offense, UCLA 187. And in the pregame show, Joey Harrington said one of the things he was interested in seeing tonight was if UCLA could sustain drives. They had so many big plays last week against Rice. Jonathan Franklin, two 70-plus yard runs. Brett Hundley, a 70-plus yard run. Could they sustain drives and move the ball against Nebraska that way? Well, they've back to on back to back drives now. They've moved the ball effectively. Last one ended though with a Jordan James fumble at the 18. Can they pay it off this time? First down and 10 at the 30. Here's Franklin. Franklin turns it up. He'll get to the 23 and a half. Remember the last time UCLA had the football, they were going in and fumbled at the 18. Jordan James stripped. Joseph Anchor coming down the line, the defensive end for Nebraska, forcing the big play for the Cornhuskers on that one. Second down and four. Franklin again. Outside. And Franklin breaks a tackle and gets down to the 12. Look at the leverage on this run by Jonathan Franklin. Will Compton stopped him. Now, Jim Moore coached the Atlanta, Atlanta Falcons, and Warwick Dunn was there. And he makes a comparison, and look at how he gets his hand down and keeps his balance. So Jonathan Franklin reminds him of Warwick Dunn. Not as physically strong, but the way that he can bounce off of tackles and find creases in the defense. First down and 10. Now thick pin. And Thickpin will get inside the 10-yard line. Compton again. Jonathan Franklin, seven carries, 30 yards. Thickpin, three carries, 23 yards. James, three carries, 11 yards. If this drive culminates in anything less than a touchdown, it'll feel like a failure to UCLA. They've missed a field goal already and fumbled at the 18-yard line. This is usually... Fourier's area of the field. Play fake. Hunley backs up. Hunley scrambling. Looking. Throws. And out of bounds. And that jump pass was to try and avoid the loss of yardage in the backfield. That was a nice awareness by Brett Hunley. Very intelligent. Because if he steps over the sideline, it's a loss of yardage. And you called it, partner. He was looking for Fourier right off the top when he came out when he took the snap. That's where he wanted to go with the ball. He was covered. And you wonder for Jim Mora if this is four down territory with the struggles his kicker has been having this season. The yardage gain on this play will determine it. Hundley. Underneath, caught, touchdown. A flag on the play. But that one caught by Jerry Johnson, the senior from Venice. This could be offensive pass interference, though. Pass interference, offense, number wow. nine. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot, third down. Jerry Johnson, 6'3", 211 listed. A lot of times you run those rub routes, as, as offensive coaches call them. If you're a defensive coach, it's a flat-out pick. They don't like it at all, trying to scrape off of guys to cut defenders out of the play. Jerry Johnson, the beneficiary there. The call goes against UCLA. That ball is brought back. Take a look out here and see what we get. What do you think? I was trying to, I, I thought it looked, looked fairly good to me on that one. I'm a defensive back. That was a tough one for me. So instead of a touchdown, third down and 15. Hundley, near side, man throw. And Manfro will get to the 18-yard line. So a decision now for Coach Mora, and he'll make it quickly as he brings his young place kicker back onto the field. Actually, he's bringing on Locke. Wow, there's the change. You called it, you called it early. You said, be aware of it. This is Jeff Locke. Oh, I take that back. Locke's out the hold. Okay. We, we, Locke is out the hold for him. So Fairbain's going to get another opportunity to put one through the post. 
from 36 yards away. And this one is good. No doubt about it, as soon as it left his foot, UCLA will settle for three, but a confidence booster for this freshman from Hawaii. Bruins go 12 plays, covering 58 yards, scoring in four minutes and 53 seconds. As they settle for the three points. This time, Kenny Bell will have a chance to return it. And Bell, over the 20, up to the 25, flag on the play. Now let's go downstairs to Julie Alexandria. Hey guys, earlier today I got a chance to speak with private quarterback coach Steve Calhoun, who is working in the offseason with Taylor Martinez, and I asked him what he thought of Taylor's performance in last week's game against Southern Miss, and he said that he noticed right away everything that they had worked on during the offseason, his balance on top of his drop, using his shoulders, it all translated into his game, and Martinez told him that he's going to keep on working on the details to keep that muscle memory strong so that he doesn't even have to think about it in the game. Guys, I think it's a nice report. Julie got a chance to talk to the man himself, Steve Calhoun. He's obviously proud of his protege, but I'm with you, Gus. We've seen a lot of guys throw the ball many different ways and are successful. Vince Young's motion wasn't classic at Texas. Danny Werfel won a Heisman shot putting it at Florida. It's getting it there, not so much how, but getting it there. Second down to six. Here's the option. Martinez will slide down. Great pursuit. Is that play? Snuffed out by Damian Holmes, the senior. In Grant Terrace, California. He had a 44-yard fumble return for a touchdown last week against Rice. Gus, how about our teammate Julie running down Steve Calhoun? How about that? We get the 4 one one huh? We got EA in the studio and JA on the sideline. Third down and seven at the 28 after the one-yard loss. Martinez under pressure over the middle and incomplete. Jamal Turner took his eyes off the football. And Nebraska will punt. Doesn't matter if Taylor Martinez drop kicked that one. All right, doesn't matter if he threw it with classic form on that one. That was a drop. Jamal Turner's got an opportunity. He'll come from left to right, left to right in the middle of your frame. And that ball is put right on him. So Brett Maher. Stands at his own 13 yard line. Manfro at the 30, ready to return the redshirt freshman. Manfro will get a shot. Manfro still running. And across the 40 yard line up to the 43. A 45 yard punt and a 15 yard return. The UCLA Bruins are young folks, but they're confident. Jim Moore coaching him up, down by four. Welcome back to the legendary Rose Bowl, UCLA's home since 1982, and home of the Rose Bowl since 1923. And these two teams have a long history. The most significant game back in 1972, Charlie. Number one, Nebraska came to town and left without that ranking. Jonathan Franklin trying to leave the Huskers. And he'll get to the 22. Damian Stafford again Watch. saves the day on defense. Watch the blocking on the right side. Back of 60 pulling. Look how they got to the corner. Fourier outside, able to, able to hold the point of attack and allows Franklin to get to the sideline and then up the field. First down and 10 at the 22 for UCLA. Manfro. Cuts its back, and Manfro gets to the 14-yard line. Corey Cooper and Cameron Meredith combining on the tackle. What kind of play was that, Charlie? That's an option play, Gus. But instead of pitching it underhanded because he was so far away, Brett Humley had the presence of mind to throw it overhand. That goes down as a run. That's a lateral, not a forward pass. UCLA, as you take a look at the numbers, second down and three after the seven-yard pickup. Hundley in the shotgun. This kid is so poised, folks, for a redshirt freshman. In his second collegiate start. 
Conley over the middle. Caught. Forio goes down quickly. By B.J. Smith. Another seven-yard gain for Joseph Forio. How about Noel Mazzoni, the offensive coordinator, with his use of motions? The motion of the running back, when he takes it back here and moves him this way, it vacates the middle, and that's where they went on the last play to Forio. But inside the 10, can they get six? As the Bruins keep it on the ground, and Kyle pushed forward, and they will be inside the five. Manfro on the counter. And, and Gus, on the last drive, remember the touchdown was thrown to Jerry Johnson, but it was taken away by, by an offensive pass interference. I looked at it on the replay on a break. I haven't found it yet. It looked like a clean play to me. Those were points that the UCLA is not going to get back. They're trying to cash in again now. Second down and goal from the four. Straight ahead, Franklin. Nothing. Alonzo Whaley, Cameron Meredith in on the tackle. That time on the motion to the sideline by the tailback, the linebacker stayed at home. No one vacated. No one moved out of the hole. And they were able to stack up the run. So a big third down. And goal for Jim Moore's team, thick pin. James in the backfield. Victoria and our Fox player pointer. Conley in the shotgun. Good place for quarterback draw. Conley over the middle. Got it! Touchdown, Fourier! His second of the game. Great call, partner. is a matchup nightmare. There he is, number eight. Okay, how about the dimension 6'7", 255. He's working against Damian Stafford, the secondary player at 6'1", 205. Notice where Brett Humley put the football. Up in the air, where only Fourier's got a chance to haul it down, and then he bodies him off like he's both setting up in the low post in basketball and converts. And the extra point is good. 7.55 to play in the second quarter. Folks, we've got a ball game. Here in SoCal, UCLA, Nebraska, bang it. 17-14, our score here. Joseph Fourier, two receiving touchdowns. And the Bruins send it away. And this one will not be returned. First down to 28. Big fullback checking in, Mike Morrow. Martinez runs. Martinez close to the first down. Tackle from behind. Looks like he's pushed down by Goldford. Also, Anthony Barr there. He runs with a lot of intelligence. In the days of yore, the Nebraska quarterbacks were running the option game. The zone read is a form of option, except there's no pitch man. You have to read what the defense is doing. Either leave the ball with the running back or pull it and run it yourself. So Martinez has that down pat. Well, he does pick up the first down. Now Abdullah outside. Glover. Amir Abdullah found a lane. And Abdullah upended by Randall Goforth after 22-yard pickup. But you always get help from your friends on big runs. Watch Bell, number 80, in open field right there. That block where he took him out allowed Abdullah to cut inside for a big gainer. Heard and Abdullah in the backfield. Play fake over the middle. Caught again by Kenny Bell. And Bell holding on to that football as the Bruins try to strip it away. Devin McDonald breaking at the ball. And that's a 17-yard gain for the Cornhuskers. Under six minutes to go in the first half. Four catches, 67 for Kenny Bell. Our guys are wondering how UCLA would handle adversity. Nebraska's had some in this first half, and they're battling back on this drive. Turner in motion. They give it to Morrow. And Morrow will get three. 
And thank you very much. Next week we'll be in Palo Alto with USC taking on Stanford. Remember that game last year? Abdullah pops it out. Touchdown, Nebraska. Is he elusive? But he gets help downfield also. Watch how he sets up blocks, sees the vision. Right there's a cut. See that? Now he gets the blocks right there. And then another one downfield from Tariq Allen, number seven. But Abdullah, his vision and his elusiveness, coupled with some fine blocks, finds him in the end zone for a touchdown. Maher in to attempt the extra point. And it's good. What a first half, folks. 21-17, Nebraska on the road. They go seven plays, 87 yards. Amir Abdullah hitting pay dirt again. Maher from the 35. Thigpen will bring it out of the end zone. And Thigpen gets close to the 20. From the 20, Hundley pump fake. Steps up, rug it, he'll run it. First down and more. And tiptoes out of bounds at the 40 in front of Damian Stafford. I just love how collected this kid is. Last year, there was plenty of thought and speculation that he would take over the team, but he got hurt during the season. A knee injury prevented him from really making the progress they wanted. But he would have probably taken over this team last year as a true freshman if he had stayed healthy. Here's a draw play. Jonathan Franklin. The one thing that the coaches say about Brett is he's the most well-prepared player that you'll see. He's always studying film. And for a true freshman to be that dedicated and that plugged in at this point in his career is something special. And that's a big deal for his head coach, Jim Mora, who coached. Mike Vick early in his career when he wasn't studying. Hundley wisely slides down after getting the first down. Already showing that poise and that presence. Redshirt freshman, are you kidding? But Jim Mora had Mike, Michael Vick in Atlanta. Michael Vick was not doing that type of studying. He was playing purely on athletic ability. Last one in the building, first one out, no maturity on that. Jim Mora now has a kid who's doing it right from the beginning. First down, Hundley. Fire indeed, Manfred! Touchdown, Reds! Redshirt freshman, the redshirt freshman, 49 yards. Inside, but watch how Hundley reads that Manfro is beating the coverage quickly and turns it loose and lets him go get the football. That's an example of throwing a receiver open. So they throw it to the open spot, let him go get it. Manfro, big drop last week against Rice, squeezes that one. And the extra point is good. 349 to play in the first half. Manfro. 49-yard touchdown. 24-21, our score under four minutes to play. Let's end. This one kicked out of the end zone by Jeff Locke. Nebraska from the 25. Martinez. This is Inunwa. And he gets out of bounds. Picks up about eight and a half. Clock stops. 24-21. High scoring first half here in Pasadena. Be interesting to see how Lou Spanos, the defensive coordinator for UCLA, wants to play this one. Are they going to sit back and play contain, or will he try and bring some pressure on Martinez? They just rushed four on that play. Martinez underneath Bell. And Bell stopped by Tevin McDonald with 26 seconds to go. They'll stop the clock to spot the football at the 36. Nebraska wasting no time. Martinez again. And Martinez nicely done by Jamal Turner to bring it down. 
McDonald and Stan McKay there. And they gave him the out of bounds, so the clock stops as they reset the chains in addition. Well in the field goal range now. They're thinking bigger with 14 seconds. Bell at the top of your screen at wide receiver. Martinez has to pick it up. And Martinez just gets rid of it, picked up. Dayton Jones. How did he intercept that football? It came out of nowhere. Martinez, first turnover. But let's see if his knee was down. There's Martinez after the fumbled snap, trying to get rid of the football. The and if you play is under further review. Look, knee down, ball in hand. Is that the pass was intercepted. When they review this, that's a, that's a loss of yardage and down for Nebraska. After further review, the quarterback's knee was down prior to the pass. The ball will be placed at the 37-yard line, where it will be Nebraska's ball, second down. And Maher will probably get a shot at it now. Because of this call, they get one more shot. His long field goal of last year was 51 yards, Gus. And Dayton Jones. And it's not just the loss of the interception. It's the chance. It's just that they had shut them out. They had stopped them from getting points on that drive. Now there's an opportunity for Nebraska to put up three going into the locker room. Don't move. <laughs> This time he doesn't call a timeout. Maher proves him wrong. How about Brett Maher? He's patient. He said, okay, coach, Mora, you won't stop me from nailing this 54-yarder. I think he made him mad. What a first half here in Pasadena, Nebraska, UCLA. Welcome back to Pasadena. We have a tie ball game at halftime. Nebraska and UCLA knotted up at 24. Gus Johnson along with Charles Davis. What a first half for both these teams. I likened it to a series of sprints, series of gassers in, in practice where these guys just have to go and go and go, and it's hard to get your breath. No marathons, no steady pace, a lot of action that was quick and fluid. And that brings us to the Geico first half stats remember both these teams in their openers accounting for over 600 yards in total offense and in the first half they may be on their way to doing it once again the one note of danger right there on the stats for Nebraska 0 for 4 and third down conversions in a game like this coming up with empty possessions can put you behind the eight ball going down the stretch Nebraska won the toss deferred in the first half so now they will receive the football to start the second half. Kenny Bell. Back deep. Taylor Martinez, local kid, trying to get the big red nation fired up who are in attendance this evening. So here we go, second half of the Rose Bowl. And Bell. Goes over his head once again. Jeff Locke sending it back for a touchback. And moments ago, our Julie Alexandria caught up with Jim Mora. Coach, with the back and forth nature of this game, your team has responded to every call. So what can we expect in the second half? Well, what we need to do is respond better on defense when our offense scores. we got to go out and get a stop. This quarterback is really elusive. He's been tough on us. I think we made some adjustments on the second half, so we'll see how it goes. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Coach. Nebraska from the 25. Handing it off. First down, a fumble by Abdullah. The Bruins say they have it, and they do. Tevin McDonald scooped it up. TJ's little brother over at SC. Second turnover of the game for Nebraska. When Nebraska did not do against Southern Miss, which was turned the ball over, they've done today. Abdullah sandwiched on the tackle, spits it up, and McDonald comes away with it. 
and he knows it. Noel Mazzoni attacked the last time. UCLA had excellent field position. And after a turnover is a prime time to go ahead and take a shot at the end zone. First down. Franklin following his blocks, spinning. And Franklin, seven yards. P.J. Smith with the tackle. Let's take a look at the offensive leaders for the Bruins. Brett Hundley continuing his nice play from the first game. Really has stepped it up in this one. Jonathan Franklin, hard to tackle. Second down and six. Hundley dancing. Hundley looking first down. UCLA. Will Compton there for Nebraska, but Hundley showing that he has live legs. Gets up a little gimpy. And Hundley says he'll have to come out of the game. So you see the end of the run. Let's see why Hundley came up a little gimpy. Let's see how he gets caught underneath. He's got to work on his sliding technique a little bit. He never fully extends on the slide. He ends up jamming his legs back and gets an ankle caught underneath on the tackle by Compton. So Richard Brijo, the senior. From Alta Loma, California, comes in to replace Hundley. Franklin on the carry. Oh, he's tripped up. And he loses it, but UCLA pounces on it quickly. Josh Mitchell, terrific tackle. And Hundley on the sideline. I think they're going to try and wrap this foot immediately and try and get him back. Franklin on the cut. The tackle by Mitchell. Balls pop free by Compton as Franklin's going down. UCLA alertly pouncing on the football. A walk one into the corner. Incomplete. Intended for Jerry Johnson. And that was strong coverage in the secondary by Josh Mitchell. They got the matchup they wanted. You're talking about 6-7 against 5-11. And 5-11 might be stretching it for Josh Mitchell, number five, with Fourier. And he stayed strong inside his chest and fought him for the football. You see Brett Hundley trying to walk off the ankle injury. Third down and goal. Eighth play of the drop. The Bruins are throwing. Looking. Out of the pocket. Incomplete again. Jack Evans once again the intended receiver. And even if the ball goes through the post here Gus this is a win for the Nebraska defense. You got first and goal and you're only going to give up three. They're not happy about him getting downfield but you'll take three versus six anytime in this game. So Fairbairn will get another opportunity this time from 22 yards. And he drives it up and good. Tell you what, Jim Moore sticking with him. And that confidence, a belief in Jim, from Jim Moore, giving a lot of confidence to the freshman kicker. Headline our early games as they take on Drew Brees and the Saints. Then in America's Game of the Week, we feature the 49ers battling Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Coverage begins tomorrow with the Bill Ford Tough Fox NFL Sunday pregame show at noon Eastern 9 a.m. I see a couple of other games on there that attract your attention too. I think the Falcons at Chiefs. That's going to be that's going to be a game. I think the Chiefs could be the favorite in the AFC West to start this season. And Atlanta, New Orleans, as always, battling it out in the NFC South. 27-24 UCLA as Nebraska prepares to get it once again. They'll start from the 25. 27-24 UCLA. Got the number 16 team in the nation on the road. Dulac driven down by Anthony Barr. Tackled for a loss of three yards. And Barr has been a mauler the first two games of the season. Second and 13. Thrown behind Kyler Reed, but he'll pick up the first down. First down for the Cornhuskers at the 28. The pitch, Abdullah, and he's tackled from behind by Sumwalt. Jordan Sumwalt 
talk about physical players. He has been terrific this evening. I think the outside linebackers, 35 zone wall, 11 bar, are starting to have an impact on this game. Turner. And Turner goes down. Tevin McDonald closing quickly. I'm not sure that was supposed to be an underhand shovel pass <laughs> by Taylor Martinez. He had enough presence of mind when the timing got messed up to be able to get it and get it out there to his receiver. Nebraska unable to complete a third down. As you take a look at the Fox pointer, Zumwalt Barr. They had seven sacks last week against Rice. Dayton Jones inside the pass rush. Martinez steps up, short arms and incomplete. A lot of heat in the kitchen coming from UCLA. You mentioned how physical they've gotten, Gus. I think the speed is showing up also. Watch the pressure of UCLA coming at Martinez. He will not have time to have the ball in his hands for very long. He's got to make a decision and get rid of it. Because right there, Omawabe, Odigizuwa, number 94, forced the issue. 43-yard field goal attempt for Maher. He's hit a 54-yarder in this game, a career-long Maher. And perfect to tie this football game up at 27. What a battle, folks. 7.45 to go in the third, 27 apiece. 27-27 as Nebraska prepares to kick off the SEC. Jordan James returning from the five. And Jordan James out of bounds at the 25. All right, <laughs> Georgia and Missouri. Nice battle, Hundley breaks a tackle. Looking for space, and Hundley out of bounds. Interesting, that came up on the screen immediately, isn't it? Human highlight reel yes. after that play. I think they nailed that one because that should have been lost yardage. He got away and got a positive gain. Second and four now. Franklin. And Franklin with the first down. Will Compton makes the tackle. Partner, I'm getting the sense now that these two defenses, because I think the first two drives of this half, Nebraska after the turnover held them to a field goal. UCLA after a drive held Nebraska to a field goal. Franklin. And anchor with the tackle. Take a look at the UCLA schedule. They are, this is the beginning of a three-game homestand. And if you take a look at it, you're looking at games now coming up. Colorado lost Sacramento State today. Oregon State off of a big win at home, but you don't think that they're away from UCLA to the point that they can't beat them. Houston lost a lot of personnel, got whacked on opening day. This UCLA team, if they can win today, they can run off a streak and really, really reinforce what Jim Moore has brought to town. One more time. See, so take a look at Houston, Oregon State, at Colorado, and then at Cal, Utah just lost last night to Utah State. There's not a game on that schedule save USC right now that if UCLA wins, that you would say is out of hand for the UCLA Bruins. Third down and two at the 45. Conley, and he throws that one behind Jerry Johnson. Now the Nebraska defense starting to take a huge step forward. P.J. Smith. Gus, these two defenses now are really imposing their will on the offenses. Eric Martin was a free runner to Brett Hundley, and at the end of it, he became a free hitter, putting the quarterback on his back. Jeff Locke, end over end kick. Abdullah with the fair catch at the six yard line. 39 yards. And that will take us to the end of the third quarter with the score UCLA, Nebraska, 27 up.
Fox College football will be back after these messages from your local station. We start the fourth quarter tied at 27. Nebraska. Nebraska! Oh! That's a safety! Unbelievable! Dayton Jones held back to the quarterback. What a play! Wow! What were we talking about in the break, Gus? What did we say in the break? That this is what? Don't make a mistake territory for Nebraska. Backed up in their own end zone, you can't have it. And we've been looking for that big play by a defense. And Dayton Jones and UCLA supply it. The safety in the end zone. Now they'll get the football back after the free kick. Two points to the good. He was unblocked. And didn't buy the fake inside to Amir Abdullah. That's the second time now we've seen Dayton Jones make that play. Remember as we were going into the first half, after all that inside faking by Taylor Martinez that sprang him for big yardage, they quit following the fake and went to the quarterback. Dayton Jones does it there. It turns into two points for UCLA. Three sacks this evening for UCLA. Manfro. And Manfro goes down hard. Flag on the play. Today. Now it's Franklin turning on the Jets up the sideline. Franklin cuts it inside. Franklin still good. Down at the 20. Jonathan Franklin. What a run. 55. This play's all about missed tackles and opportunities. There's one. There's two. Now watch the cut back. There's a third one by the safety Smith. There's a fourth one, almost a fifth one. Look at Franklin cutting inside and evading P.J. Smith. And then he evades downfield Andrew Green for a monster game. First down for UCLA. They swing it out. Jack Evans. And don't forget, folks, immediately following our broadcast, we promise you local news. Jonathan Franklin will be on the local news tonight. The Dorsey High product who says he wants to be one day the mayor of Los Angeles. If UCLA wins this game and an election is tomorrow, he's in. Hundley wants to run. And Hundley out of bounds, pushed out of bounds by P.J. Smith. Trying to use the pursuit of Nebraska against itself. Showing flow in one direction towards the field to the wide side and then coming back to the backside with one lead blocker out in front and offensive lineman. Third down and six at the Nebraska 16. Thick pin in the backfield with Hundley. Hundley goes up top. Fourier, and he couldn't bring it in. Damian Stafford. Got enough on it to break up it, break it up. And what a stand by the Nebraska defense after the big play, big play by Franklin. Looked like UCLA had all the momentum. And Nebraska had the moxie to hang in there and force them into a field goal attempt. Stafford breaking up the pass to Fourier. So Fair Baron comes in to attempt a 34-yarder. Two for three. This evening. Gets it up and no good. Wow. UCLA had a chance to seize this game by the neck. Instead, the Nebraska defense holds opportunity there for the Cornhuskers. First down and 10 of 20. That's a mighty SEC taking that one, correct? That's right. Got some drama here at the Rose Bowl. Nebraska. Martinez guns it and deflected, intended for Inunwa. 
But again, pressure in the face of Taylor Martinez. Look like Sayali Epinesa in the grill of the quarterback. And look at how the numbers have changed. Had time, good, good pocket presence in the first half. Not as many people in the space. In the second half, not a chance. Second down and 10 of the 20. Abdullah in the backfield. And almost intercepted. Go for it. Two hands on the football, just couldn't bring it in. And is this the second, this second time tonight we've seen Randall go forth with a chance for an interception that got dropped. He'll be doing a lot of ball drills and working on catching the football in the weeks to come. But what they like are his instincts and his ability to break on the football when it's thrown. Brings up third down and 10 from the 20 for Nebraska. Martinez in the shotgun. Martinez over the middle, incomplete. And the Cornhuskers will punt it again. Kyler Reed, closest man of the football. Name the best quarterbacks you know. If there's pressure in their face down after down, their accuracy will do what? It will drop. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. He doesn't have his clean sight lines as he had in the first half. Thus, the accuracy has dropped in a big way. Maher drives it. Manfro lets it go over his head. And the ball will be downed at the 15. First down and 10 at the 16. This time it's Thickman. And Thickman, not a lot of room. Will Compton shutting it down. 616 to go. Nebraska folks. Got to figure out a way to get off the field and give Taylor Martinez enough time to do something with it. And this game is now in the hands of the Nebraska defense. They got good field position after the punt. They need to keep UCLA bottled in to help the field position for their offense if they get the ball back. Second and six. Lucian. Oh, he caught it. Lucian. What a catch at the 45. The freshman from Encino. Talk about going up and getting it. That's just a clear example of going up and taking the football at the moment of truth. Stanley Jean Baptiste had the inside position and a better play on the ball, but Lucien went and took it. A 33 yard game. They'll stay on the ground. Think big. What an effort by the Bruins with the first year head coach in Jim Mora. He took them to San Bernardino, made sure that they were able to focus and concentrate some of the traditions that they were used to. He abolished, it was hard going for these kids. 29-27 out of the backfield, Franklin. And Franklin still running, spinning. Jonathan Franklin. Putting on a show in L.A. Watch outside to the, to the left side of your screen. Wide side of the field. It's like a crackback screen. Johnson working inside. Draws the attention in there. Franklin swings outside for a nice gainer. First down. And Jordan James. Hit in the backfield and dropped by Will Compton. But if you're Nebraska, the thing you can't give up is a touchdown. Can't give up a touchdown here. Have to force them to at least a field goal. But the good thing for UCLA is no matter what, they flip field position. They start on their own 15-yard line. If nothing else, you're going to make Nebraska march the football, and it'll have to be a long way. Hundley over the middle. And Fourier, did he catch it? No. Incomplete. And that will bring up third down and 13. Watch Damian Stafford, number three, fight Fourier for the football inside and work it all the way to the ground. Fourier tries to body it in. Stafford working, 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 bobbling as he's going down, and you see the ball clearly out of his mitts. Big play for the Nebraska defense. Third down and 13. They need a stop right here. Hundley. 
Under pressure. Hundley and the Nebraska defense comes up big. Andrew Green, Will Compton get to the quarterback. And now it's not even a field goal attempt. They've got to punt the football. They held them to no points on this one. And you're going to bring in the punter now who will have to try and pin them deep. But look at Compton, shoots the gap, stays on his feet, doesn't take the fakes, and he and Andrew Green combine to put Hundley down, take them out of field goal range with a shaky field goal kicker, and make them punt it away. And Amir Abdullah is back deep, standing at his own eight. Lock. Abdullah allows it to go over his head, and it bounces perfectly. The Aussie rules kick end over end down at about the nine of corn huskers down by two and this is where taylor martinez has a chance to step up and be a hero martinez that one deflected at the line of scrimmage. Odigizuwa. Nebraska thought that Odigizuwa was going to sign with them during recruiting. And at the last second, he ended up changing up and going to UCLA, working on Spencer Long. Couldn't get back to the quarterback, but good fundamentals. Got a hand in the passing lane and knocks it away with his arm. Second down and 10. Martinez again to throw. Martinez lofts it up. Picked up. Abbott. Big time play. One they will remember at UCLA for quite some time. Andrew Abbott, the senior from Long Beach, sat in the weeds. And the Bruins are in business again they elect to play coverage all right so as they go back and he makes the throw look at that because what happened was abbott was up on the line of scrimmage and dropped off into deep coverage so he ended up with two deep coverage he and mckay sandwiching the receiver they rushed four dropped seven and got the crucial pick bruins 307 away franklin Cameron Meredith with the tackle now Jim Mora goes NFL conservative and right now what they're telling those running backs squeeze the football if you're Nebraska you're tackling the first tackler there secure the man everyone else rip the football out John Papucha standing there he's signaling in the defense as he's the coordinator he and Bo Pelini collaborating now telling the players get the football out Look at Hundley taking his time at the line of scrimmage, using as much of the play clock as he can. Here's a handoff, James. And James goes down. About two yards away from a first down. Clock still running. 29-27. And we'll go to commercial. 29-27, 216 to go. They need three yards. They swing it out. Franklin looking. Touchdown, bro. The mayor. Gus, that call by Noel Mazzoni in collaboration with Jim Moore approving it told me exactly what I needed to know. He did not want to kick a field goal there. Otherwise, they run the ball inside in the middle and set up to kick the field goal. He wanted the points, so he didn't have to risk the field goal because they've struggled with it this evening. Extra point, good. 2-13 to play in the fourth. 
UCLA up 36-27. And this is a staple of what Noel Mazzoni does as an offensive coordinator. He puts the ball in the hands of his playmakers in open space and then lets them go to work. And Franklin does exactly that, sliding inside and avoiding the tackle attempt by Stafford. UCLA in firm control down the stretch. Two thirteen to go. Abdullah, Kenny Bell, back deep. Lock drives it. Ball picked up, Kenny Bell. And Kenny Bell still running. Gets down the sideline. Great return for Bell and a late flag, so they'll tack even more yardage onto this play. So Taylor Martinez with the football. First down at the 36 of UCLA. Martinez firing deep. Martinez and a flag. <laughs> Don't hold up your hands, Aaron Hester. That's too easy. Woolen Waver, the intended receiver, Aaron Hester, <laughs> called for interference. I love how he held up his Pass hands. Defense, number 21, 15-yard penalty, first down. He said, who, me? He's got a hold back there. Towel, jersey, and Woolen Waver sold it. No quit in this Nebraska squad led by the dynamic junior, Taylor Martinez. First down and 10 of the 21. Martinez to the sideline. Oh, incomplete. Kenny Bell didn't look like he saw the football. That looked like he lost it in the lights. He immediately pointed to his face shield as if to tell his quarterback, I didn't see it coming. And that's the view looking back towards his quarterback. The lights here at the Rose Bowl. Kenny Bell unable to find the football. Second and 10. Martinez, quarterback draw, nothing. Damian Holmes. And Nebraska calls a timeout. There's Lou Spanos, the defensive coordinator who came back from the pros. Jim Morris said he loves having him around. They've known each other for a while. And a lot of the philosophy they have stems from Jim Morris' dad from his time with the New Orleans Saints running their 3-4. With the Dome Patrol defense, that was so except so outstanding. Third down and nine. Four down territory for Nebraska. Martinez scrambling. Martinez trying to get outside. And Martinez out of bounds. Short of the first down. Cassius Marsh ushering him out of bounds, but the Huskers will have to go for it right here with 141 remaining, down 36-27 be an interesting call for the defensive staff of UCLA because you want the ball out of his hands quickly although I guess Nebraska kicked the field goal now and hope to get it back on an onside kick. Want points now and then try and get it and get the touchdown they need later. Oh Pelini sends in Brett Maher got it away looks good. And it is. Six point game. Now for the kicking team is that the high hopper is the one that causes people a lot of trouble. Now you're saying if they can fair catch it I might just be giving it to them. So now I'm trying to squib it along the ground and try and find a way to get to the football. That's a much tougher proposition for the team kicking it than it ever has before have ever been in the past. Very interesting new rule. It's a safety rule is what has been put in place because those guys who were going back as you know yeah. were fielding it. They were getting tattooed feet off the ground two or three people hitting them. They're saying now they're giving the same kick protection. There it is. And ball fielded by the Bruins. They say they have it with 136 remaining. When you know a team's going to onside kick, there's no surprise coming out and just quick kicking it. 
UCLA 136 away from their second win of the year. So he's just trying to get it into the middle but they tried to come out fast and hopefully kept UCLA napping but that type of play really is only effective when there's no when you think there's zero threat of an onside kick but UCLA was playing totally for it and they were ready. Here's Hundley hands it off Franklin runs around Franklin wants to stay in bounds with the blocker Franklin still going the flag on the play though. Face mask. Defense number seven. Half the distance to the goal. First down. So now the Bruins line up. Hundley under center. He will take a knee. Nebraska can no longer stop the clock. As Hundley takes his time. And the young fellow's got to even work on that a little bit. Things will continue to be worked on and get better. First things first, the trainer's got some work to do with him with his ankle. What a great job tonight by UCLA. Jim Moore Jr. Excuse me, Jim Mora. Signature win here at UCLA in his second game as head coach. Defeating Nebraska, the 16th ranked team in the country, 36 30. Their first win against the Cornhuskers since 1988. The final score Bruins 36, Nebraska 30. Right now, let's send it over to our studio for the ATT postgame show. Here's Aaron Andrews.